Good morning. My name is William Chambers. I'm the instructor here in Mechanical Engineering Technology at Thaddeus Stevens College. Basically, what our approach here is, is to provide people with problem-solving skills speaking an engineering language. What that means in terms of engineering language, that means students have to understand sketching, they have to understand technical drawing, solid modeling, uh, manufacturing processes, things that all relate to what an engineer does. So part of that would also include rapid prototyping and of course oral and written communications. So those are all the skills that we focus on in that language of engineering. The mechanical engineering students are required to attend classes. Uh, we have about 22 hours of contact time per week with the students and during that time period we have both rigidly structured scheduled classes, in other words it meets like any other college schedule, and then we have time in between classes where the students can also get one-on-one -on -one tutoring from directly from the professor teaching a class. Uh, what we also do is on Wednesdays we set aside a special day for practicum and on those days students actually get a chance to decide what our agenda is for the day. So we might go over homework assignments, we might go over let's say for example an exam that they took or whatever they decide. They get the program what we do for that day and we do that every week. Each semester builds on the last. So by the end of the first semester they have a good complement of understanding how to create solid models and and the language of technical drawing. They also understand manufacturing processes and we also do some plant tour visits so they get some hands-on, they get a chance to see some of these processes actually taking place. In the second semester we build on that where we do these uh, independent internship projects. Even the freshman students work on those. So we have these corporate sponsored projects that they get some practical knowledge on. And again during that semester they take those very early skills and build upon them learning some design principles. During the third semester we yet build on that once again. We have the, fo the students focus on engineering mechanics where they learn about the world of statics and vector mechanics and then how to apply those principles to real world problems. We also follow through then with a course in fluids and some more advanced solid modeling at that point. Uh, in those classes we also spend some time on mechanism design where we actually animate mechanisms on the screen so we can have the students understand how engineers design mechanisms and how they can take those and apply them for practical applications like building some sort of a machine. In the fourth semester we follow through with some more advanced engineering science courses associated with thermodynamics as well as machine design and also materials. These are all the things a mechanical designer needs to know in order to effectively go out there in the workforce. We're the people that are the smarts behind the parts. So for example we redesign something like this. We design it not only from the internal geometry but as well as the external geometry to make it aesthetically pleasing and at the same time we also have to figure out what the manufacturing process is to go along with it. The nice part about what our students do is they get hands-on experience making parts like this or here's another illustration of a similar part like that. These are both intake manifolds and these are all corporate sponsored projects that we do with our students in the spring semester and the students I think really get a lot out of it. It's not a textbook problem that they're working on. They're working on something live with deadlines and requirements that they have to meet. This is the entry ramp for a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. So what that means is a student can come here, work on their two-year degree, and then transfer on to another four-year college and continue on that bachelor's degree path. If a student chooses to finish up and then go out and get a, a very good job in the work world, they can do that as well. So looking forward to seeing you come visit us and hope, hopefully see you here in our classes. My name is Chris Drum. I'm a sophomore student, second year in the Mechanical Engineering Department at That A. Stevens. Um, to succeed in the Engineering Department, you're going to need a whole lot of stuff. Um, MET is probably the toughest uh, major you can take in Stevens. It's all about taking your time and focusing on attention to detail, um, taking the notes when needed, preparing. Uh, you need to be prepared for every test because every test is going to cover everything you've learned up until now and even stuff that we learned last year they go over. First year was pretty much getting the foundation for everything and you just you got the basics. Um, it was still it was tough uh, we lost a we were at 28 kids now we're down to six so we lost a bunch of kids. Um, some couldn't do it some decided to go do other things um, but your second year is when it gets tough. It, you have notebooks which notebooks are mine came out to 150 pages of homework material and it's just 
it's just drilling day and day what you need to know. The workload for the course is it's a lot. Um, it's more than I expected when I first started here, but you, you, you get used to it. When it comes to your, your homework, do it every day. Um, have, it, have it ready for class. Uh, be really, uh, be a stickler for everything. Uh, it's all about attention to detail. Um, the more you have your attention to detail, the better you are to succeed. Uh, you can come in with virtually no skills and you, you can apply yourself and you can do it. I came in with, uh, with a pretty good mechanical background. Uh, I've been building cars for years, um, so that helped me with some of the processes, some of the tools. Uh, it helped me a good deal, but there are kids that are still with us that came in with no background and they're, they're doing well. Group projects, it's best to work in groups. Uh, you can't really do it on your own. You're going to have to get a study group, go to the math labs, go to the English labs, and work. Is you're better off getting a degree as a group. The instructors, uh, the instructors are very helpful. They're very helpful, and they are. They're very demanding. They expect a lot from you. They, you know, it's college. You're expected to to do your work, to be here every day. The instructors are tough. They they're very tough graders. They they inspect they inspect everything, and they're they're ready for you to be here and ready for you to to work. Uh, the best type of personality you can have to succeed here would be a drive to succeed. Uh, you're going you're gonna to need to have a drive to, to do it. You need to be focused. So the best um, down to earth, just ready to, ready to get a degree and ready to complete it. And that, that's pretty much what you need to know to succeed. Um, I mean, it's tough, but you can, you can definitely do it if you have the drive.